Hey guys, welcome. My name is Magdalene Janet. Welcome to the Familia if you are new. So guys, I'm so excited because I'm back with another lip swatching video. Maybelline just released a new collection and line of the Superstay lip crayons, the Brooklyn blush line. And I wanted to lip swatch all 10 of the shades so you guys can see how they look in studio lighting and in daylight. And oh, I'm so excited. So if you're interested in seeing how all goes down, lip swatching all these beautiful shades from the new Maybelline Brooklyn blush, Please don't forget to like, subscribe, turn your notifications on because that helps the family grow. And follow me on my socials because I'm always there too. Let's get started. Hey guys, so let's start. Oh, I am so excited. So Maybelline released all 10 of these brand new lip crayons. They're under the Brooklyn Bronze line that recently just released. And I love, love Maybelline lip crayons. They're so good. So there's 10 brand new shades. I'm gonna lip swatch them for you and everything in studio lighting and in daylight, you guys know. And if you are new, welcome to the familia. So let me just show you how this bad boy looks. We're gonna go like this, you see? And then also, it has a sharpener. So when the actual lip crayon's not as sharp, you can sharpen it. And it actually works because I've tried it before. At first I was like, hmm, a sharpener? Like, how does that work? Is it gonna be messy? But no, it actually does work. So I love, love that. I got these on Amazon. I'll have everything in the description box for you guys, per the usual. I'll actually show you on my phone so you guys can see the exact order we're gonna go to. I usually try to do it lightest to darkest, but sometimes, you know, I mess up. So this is the order we're gonna go in lightest to darkest, kinda, you know, but look at these shades, so beautiful. We're gonna do all the lip swatches at the beginning and then towards the end, we talk about these beauties and how they look, how they feel, how they smell, all that jazz. So let's get started. All right guys, starting off with the first one, Achieve It All number 155. Oh, This is Achieve It All number 155. And in daylight, this is Achieve It All. All right, next up is Stop At Nothing number 160. This is Stop At Nothing, 160. And in daylight, this is Stop At Nothing. All right, guys, next up is Work For It, number 140. This is the shade Work For It, 140. And in daylight, this is Work For It. All right, guys, next is Break The Ceiling, number 145. This is the shade Break the Ceiling, 145. And in daylight, it's Break the Ceiling. All right, next up is Chase Dreams, number 150. This is the shade Chase Dreams, 150. And in daylight, it's Chase Dreams. Next up is Make Moves, number 135. This is the shade Make Moves, 135. And 
and in daylight, it's make move. All right, guys, next is Pave the Road, number 130. This The shade Pave the Road 130. And in daylight, this is Pave the Road. All right, guys, next up is Be Bold, Be You, number 120. Bold BU 120. And in daylight, this is Be Bold BU. All right, guys, next up is Check Yourself 125. This is the shade Check Yourself, 125. And in daylight, it's Check Yourself. All right, guys, last but not least is Drive the Future, 165. This is the shade Drive the Future 165. And in daylight, this is Drive the Future. All right, guys, this is it. This is the 10th and final lip swatch. And oh my God, I forgot to mention at the beginning, I had done a another lip swatching video, the NYX lip swatching video because it's gonna go before this one. My lips were stained, so that's why, if you're wondering why my lips were stained and not my normal color, it's because of that. I'm trying to get that perfect sunlight and kill two birds with one stone, you know? And here, I wanted to show you these swatches that I did on my arm so you guys can get a better look. But of course, we're gonna talk about these lipsticks, so let's back the camera up and let's chit-chat. So we're back, backed up a little bit, and oh my gosh, these lip crayons are beyond beautiful. Literally, every single shade is my favorite. I didn't feel like one just didn't work. They were all so beautiful, every single shade. And here are some swatches. I wanted to show you how they look and how different they are from one another. Undertones are different, the shade is different, Every shade was so beautiful. I wanna show you guys here some daylight swatches on my arm so you guys can take a good look on the undertones of these beautiful, beautiful shades. And I just really like them all. They all worked well. And in daylight, I feel like you get a better picture of the actual shade as opposed to studio lighting. It's giving me more fall vibes, although they just released it now, summertime. But if you're not familiar, so Maybelline released this collection of Superstay lip crayons called Brooklyn Blush. And they do have that blushy tone. They're so freaking beautiful. 10 shades were released, which were all the ones that I lip swatch. They're available on Amazon, which is where I got mine. They do retail for $7.99, the usual price of Maybelline Superstay lip crayons. These glided on so beautifully. They glide on, they kind of have a, a petroleum scent, kind of like a Carmex. You know how Carmex smells? It has that scent, but not as potent as Carmex is. Maybe like Vaseline too, but they glide on the lips so beautifully. They're super, super, super pigmented. Like I told you guys, I had lip swatch some lipstick. They stained my lips pretty heavily. And the fact that each and every one of these shades was able to cover my stained lip just tells you how pigmented these are. Even this lightest shade, 
achieve it all was able to cover it and we were able to really see the actual shade of each lip crayon so i was kind of scared i'm like crap what if we can't really see the actual tone of the lipstick like the lip swatch wouldn't really be helpful to you that's why i do these lip swatching videos especially in studio lighting and in daylight so you guys can see how it looks because in studio lighting it has one shade and in daylight like the real world it has another shade for the most part sometimes not really but you know i'm very impressed i think this line is by far my favorite line of lip crayons i had previously lip swatched the coffee edition and i thought that was my favorite but no i think brooklyn blush is definitely my favorite because all these tones are so effing beautiful let's see if they're kiss proof a little bit look oh wow a little bit not that much but they do go on creamy and it's crazy because they do lie down matte but not they're not very matte and as they dry down you still have that creaminess to your lips so you won't have that super drying feel if you're not big on super matte lipsticks this i think it's a perfect in between of like a lip balmy creamy and a matte kind of together i'm just like i'm shocked how well it covered my lip stain like for real. I don't ever wear anything on my lips. I don't lip line them with a lip liner because I always want you guys to see the real color so you guys have a good reference point when you're gonna buy your products to know how it looks. That's really why I do my videos to be helpful for you to know what you're buying instead of having to, I don't know, guess what to buy and like thinking if it's gonna work or not. I always want you guys to have like a clear picture of the products and I hope that you guys get this from my videos you know i can't pick my favorite i really just can't because i think i just like them all and i'm sorry but i know you guys always ask me i just can't i just can't like these but these two and these another thing i really loved about these is that you can't really see texture on the lips and they were super easy to use to lip line. I have very textured lips and I try to avoid lipsticks, especially matte ones that can be very drying and show all the little texture and lines that I have on my lips, you know? As I told you guys earlier, it does have a little sharpener. If you've never used it, you would just basically use it like this and kind of just go like that. And then it sharpens it. And then the little remaining, you know, right goes right here be careful you don't want it to smear on your clothes or anything but i think it's super convenient that the little sharpener is down here and then you get to resharpen your lipstick let me know your thoughts on these have you seen them around have you checked out amazon by the way amazon does have no maybelline does have an amazon store so if you're ever questioning if things are real on Amazon when it comes to makeup, I would always suggest for you to buy directly from the store, especially drugstore makeup have stores on Amazon. So for example, Maybelline has a Maybelline store and you can see all their products to see what products are there. And a lot of times if you don't want to go to the store or you just want to buy it off of Amazon, it's legit. And I will have everything linked down below all the shades where I bought them. So you guys have a reference point. But yeah, guys, this was so much fun. I love doing lip swatching videos. I usually have to wait to around like 3.30 for the sun to be perfectly at the golden hour part so you guys can get that good sunlight. So it's just always so fun trying to like work against the, the sun because I was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, what if the sun goes down and I still have like three lip swatches to go, you know? But no, we started perfect timing today, even filming another video girl this is it let me know your thoughts on this collection i love you guys so much thank you for all the love and support you constantly show me please don't forget to like subscribe subscribe right here click before you go and i'll see you in the next one bye